伦德恩为我们带来的开埠迎春的活动。接下来呢，我们有请办事处徐处长以及文化中心李主任就位，也请在场的各位来宾，请站立，我们将宣唱中华民国国歌以及加拿大国歌。Please stand for the national anthem of Republic of China. 17-year low, so that's good news. And this year, 
We will keep working hard, and I hope that we will even do better. In tonight's uh, event, uh, we are going to present you some performance uh, brought by the Taiwanese young talents living in the GTA. Well, uh, in order to show the vigor and uh, the dignity of Taiwan, uh, our youth is our future, our hope. So uh, later, uh, when you watch their performances, please give them uh, a lot of encouragement, some big applause. And uh, finally, I'd like to take this opportunity to um, thank those friends who have shown their care and support um, over the loss caused by an earthquake in Taiwan on February the 6th. And having said that, I would like to wish every one of you all the peace, um, uh, happiness, health, prosperity in the year of 2018. Wei 蔡总统在他的除夕谈话中间也讲到了希望能够通过他们的这个活力我要祝福大家在新的一年和家庭安吉祥如意狗年行大运。Once again, Happy New Year. Uh, wish you have a beautiful evening. Thank you very much. Thank你们的支持。那我们接下来呢，我们即将要邀请我们今天有来到场的贵宾及贵宾代表上台来为我们致一些话。let us welcome our VIP guests onto the stage to give us a few words. Let's welcome MP Honorable John McKay. Thank you. Uh, I suspect that it's quite a list of people who are here. Anyways, greetings to uh, Council General, uh, uh, colleagues, uh, members of the Taiwanese community, it's a great honor for me to welcome you to Scarborough Gilwood, which as uh, you all know is the center of the universe, um, and uh, it's certainly the center of my universe, and uh, very much they have, uh, for some bizarre reason, elected me uh, for the last 20 years, which means this is my second ear of the dog, because it comes up for every day. So, uh, and it's kind of disturbing that I actually remember 2006, which was the last year of the dog. It's interesting to me also that uh, the characteristics of the year of the dog is uh, reliability and faithfulness, which uh, I think in some respects characterizes the relationship between the people of Canada and the people of Taiwan. I think uh, uh, it's a rather pity that uh, we don't uh, have, uh, or that uh, Canada uh, has uh, many relationships, and it would be delightful if, in fact, we had as many good working relationships as we have with the uh, people of Taiwan. 
So again, welcome, Happy New Year, and uh, you have nothing but my sympathy for all of the people that are gonna speak after you, and they are the only people between you and the food. So. <laughs> by the Honorable Peter Kent. Well, Director General, uh, honored colleagues, political colleagues, uh, honored guests, uh, it's, a, it's a real honor to again offer uh, my uh, personal greetings uh, to all attending this, uh, this uh, Taiwan night, and as well to convey um, the greetings of Andrew Scheer, the uh, leader of the official opposition and the Conservative Party in, uh, in the House of Commons. In celebrating the year 4716, according to uh, the Emperor Wang Ji's calendar, it's appropriate to reflect on the cultural and the economic uh, contributions of the Taiwanese community uh, to Canada and to celebrate the creative talents of the uh, young Taiwanese Canadians who have performed and will perform through the evening. Just let me tell you that Canada's Conservatives value our strong relationship with this community and of course the more than 200,000 uh, Taiwanese Canadians uh, or people of Taiwanese descent uh, who contribute to our society in virtually every field of endeavor. Canada and Taiwan also, uh, as we all know, enjoy close economic and cultural ties while honoring our shared democratic values. And in this year of the dog, when we celebrate faithfulness and we celebrate loyalty, uh, I'm here to tell you that Canada's conservatives will always uh, stand up for Taiwan on the international stage. Whether, whether in terms of attendance at international gatherings, international fora such as uh, IATA or ICAO or the World Health Organization, or in speaking out very clearly against the sort of recent intimidation we've seen with the island encirclement flights by your neighbor across the Taiwan Strait. Finally, thanks to everyone here at the Cultural Center uh, and to the many volunteers who I know have, uh, have worked hard to uh, make this event a success again tonight. Happy New Year, Gong Hei Fat Choi, and enjoy the evening. Empty Audible Bob Soroya onto the stage. Thank you so much, uh, <coughs> Brother Kakelos, MPs, MPPs. Your worships, regional councillors, councillors, uh, the honored guests from the Taiwan community, communities, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Daja Hao! Wu Xin Wen Hao Peng Yo Sai Bo Gua Xin Chun Kui Lo As a member of Parliament for Gotham Union, well, an associate shadow minister for immigration, refugees, and citizenship, I wish the Taiwanese Merchant Association of Toronto a happy, healthy, and prosperous year of Gongsi Fatcha. The Lunar New Year is also known as a Spring Festival. It is one of the most widely recognized festivals in traditional Chinese culture. It is celebrated all around the world, and especially here in Canada, where there is a large and vibrant Taiwanese community. <clears throat> Taiwan and Canada share common values and beliefs in freedom, democracy, human rights, and rule of law. Bilateral relationship, 
continue to de deepen because of our action by the previous conservative government. This includes the visa exemption, the youth poverty agreement, and increased trade and commerce. Taiwanese Canadians are an important part of the Canadian mosaic. As TMAT gathers for 23rd annual gala night, I wish everybody in attendance a wonderful Lunar New Year. Congratulations on the organizing this event. Shishidada. Awesome. Thank you very much. Next, we would like to welcome onto the stage Senator Honorable Tang Kai No. Well, thank you very much, distinguished guests, Director General, my colleagues Arthur Collins, uh, City Councilor, Honor. I'm delighted and honored to join you today to celebrate the Lunar New Year. The Lunar New Year is also a wonderful time and a wonderful occasion for all of us to gather among friends and the loved ones to celebrate the community achievement and prosperity. I would like to thank Tico and all the community group who have contributed for organizing this truly spectacular event. In particular, this year, we celebrate the Year of the Dog, which is considered kind, generous, loyal, considerate, principle and courageous. With this in mind, I hope that the Year of the Dog will bring many fortunes to the Taiwanese Canadian community. This celebration will also remind us of the meaningful contributions that your vibrant community has made to Canada. It has made this country better, stronger, more diverse, by the virtue of your hard work and determination to succeed. Canada is a country that defends and promotes freedom, democracy, human rights, and the rule of law. Just last year, Taiwan's highest court ruled that existing law preventing members of the same sex from marrying was a violation of their basic rights and freedom. Congratulations for Taiwan on that one. And this is the this is an incredible stand for democracy as paid for other countries in Asia to legalize the same-sex union and recognize the right to equality. Let us therefore continue to hold these values at home and around the world. Allow me once again to thank the organizing committee members, volunteers, performers, you're going to come here, for making Taiwan Night an organization and such an unforgettable event. May the Year of the Dog bring you and your loved ones health, peace, and prosperity. Happy New Year. Bonani Kogi Fatra. Thank you. Next, we would like to invite Ms. Deanne Scro, representing MP Honorable Judy Scro.
Good evening, everyone. My name is Deanna Scro, and I'm the daughter of the Honorable Judy Scro. MP Judy Scro is the chair of the Canadian Taiwan Friendship Committee in, in Parliament. In that role, she has had the distinct pleasure of spending time with so many of you, appreciating your culture, your strengths. She is so impressed by the community and is so grateful to the Prime Minister for having given her this special opportunity. So on her behalf, I say thank you, and if I may, I will present greetings. On behalf of the Canadian-Taiwan Parliamentary Friendship Group, I am deeply honored and pleased to extend my personal compliments and congratulations to everyone celebrating Taiwan Night this evening. Canadians are, at our core, a generous and open people that values helping others. So this new year, let us not only look back at the accomplishments of the past year, but also look forward to building deeper connections with our friends, family, and community. I would like to take this opportunity to wish everyone a happy, healthy, and prosperous year of the dog. I have to admit, this is my year, and I certainly hope some of the attributes will be uh, in my favor. Go Z Fai Chai. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next, we'd like to welcome onto the stage MPP Honorable Ernie Hardman. Well, thank you, and thank you very much for the kind introduction and the great opportunity to be here to say Happy New Year, Happy Lunar New Year to the all gathered, uh, Madam Director. Um, head table guest. Um, I, I have a, it's a great pleasure to be here and I haven't actually been at this event the second time for the Year of the Dog, but I have been around in office that long, so I guess I could say I'm celebrating it again. But as I was thinking as I was coming, the Year of the Dog, of course, that's very significant, but this is because this is where it all comes together if you use the motto of the dog in the Canadian society. That means they are man's best friend. And obviously, as I was telling that to the director, that makes us Canadians, born Canadians, although I'm not, uh, born Canadians, best friends with the Taiwanese community that's here. So I want to say thank you very much for that. Now, some of you, some of you may know that um, I'm here bringing greetings on behalf of the Conservatives Caucus, but there has been some events in the news just recently that there's a bit of one might say turmoil as we're proceeding to the future. Now there's two things I want to say about that. One is that there's a saying that I've been using for many years. Don't spend a lot of time looking behind you to the past. You're not going, you're not going that way. The future is where you keep your eye and that's where we're all going. Now having said that, because we're going to that future and there's a leadership race going on now, I have to be very careful what I say when I'm speaking on behalf of all of them, right? So I, since the first time I think that I've been at one of these events, and I've been at many, I have it. I actually got a new staff person. Well, I, I, I was going to say for this purpose, but that wouldn't be quite true. But she just started in my office and she helped me create what I'm supposed to say tonight to make sure I don't make any mistakes. So I'm going to say, first of all, I'm going to agree with everything, and that's the advantage of being later on in the speeches, I agree with everything that's been said so far. So I don't have to repeat that. What I want to say for myself is, uh, excuse me, 
excuse me, I can't see with my glasses on. <laughs> and it says, it is with great pleasure that I extend warm greetings and welcome. Welcome all in attendance tonight at Taipei's Economic and Cultural Office Chinese. See, that's what happens. I should have read it before. The Lunar New Year celebration. Tonight's celebration allows us to commemorate everything we have accomplished and the friendships we have created while looking ahead to the possibility of the, what the year offers. The bonds of friendship between Taiwan and Oxford will surely continue to strengthen through shared cultural experiences and tradition. As you embark on the Year of the Dog, please accept my best wishes for a wonderful evening and continued prosperity, health, happiness in the new year. And I signed it to make sure that you realize it came from me, and I'd like to give it to you, uh, Director General. Thank you all very much for all you do. Thank you very much. Next, we would like to invite the following guests onto the stage. Mr. Denzel Minan Wong, Deputy Mayor of Toronto. Ms. Shelley Carroll, Deputy Speaker of Toronto City. Mr. Jim Carey Janet, Toronto City Councilor. Welcome. me and my posse. Um, well, thank you very much, and uh, uh, we wanted to wish everyone a, a happy Lunar New Year on behalf of our mayor and our council, uh, Mayor John Tory. Um, we're delighted to be here. Council General, thank you so much for having us. Uh, um, we come here every year to celebrate with you. It's uh, because we want to show our support for the Taiwanese community. The Taiwanese community is, is uh, a small but mighty group in the city of Toronto and, and represents so many good things. And so uh, we're, we're very happy to be here. And, and you know, Council Janitor, you look at all the people, all the dignitaries that have come here to support you. And it's a, it's a reflection of our love for, for, the, for Taiwan and the Taiwanese community and the Taiwanese people. You, you've got to know that we're behind you 100% all the way. And so thank you very much for having us, and uh, we look forward to uh, uh, spending the evening with you. We're, you're right, keep it short and sweet. Sinian Kuala. Dajah Hao. Mosi Machai. Jesha. Thank that conversation. Community leader, 
and friends. On behalf of Mia Frank's Kepati and Markham Council, tonight with my colleague, Councillor Logan Kanapati, I want to wish all of you in the year of the dog with good health and prosperity. Welcome and uh, good evening and uh, delight to be here. This is my second or third time I'm coming to this center and thank you for inviting me, Karan, for your love and uh, passion, to, not only for your community and for the, for the mark I'm reaching out. Uh, I don't want to speak long. I did bring the greeting on behalf of the mayor and member of the council. Uh, I will read it for you guys. Greeting from the city of Markham on behalf of a member of Markham Council. I'm pleased to extend my best wishes to the Taipei Economic and Cultural Office in Toronto. On the annual 11th, Taiwan Night, in celebration of our Lunar New Year, this February 23, 2018. I wish you all the best in your future activities as your organization continues to grow. Happy Lunar New Year to you and Taiwan's community of the Greater Toronto Area. Thank you. Konge Pacha. Good evening. I want to extend my uh, thanks to uh, the Director General and their entire team for inviting me. This is my first time here and, and thank you for inviting me. On behalf of the City of Vaughan, the Mayor Maurizio Bebalacqua, and our entire community, we want to wish all the Taiwanese community a very happy new year. The year of the dog is a good year. I understand that dog is very loyal, very honest, so it should be a good year. So, um
between Canada and Taiwan continue to be as strong and as wonderful as it has been in the past. Thank you very much and Happy New Year. Thank you. Next, we would like to welcome onto the stage Superintendent Neil Corrigan, Toronto Police Service. Good evening. Director General, I'm honored to be here this evening. I bring greetings on behalf of Chief Mark Saunders. I'm very honored to be here in the year of the dog. I hope that all of you will think of us, the Toronto Police Service, as a loyal and honest agency that can serve you, the community. We're committed to doing so in the future, and thank you so much for your partnership. We value it very much. Good evening. Thank you. Next, we would like to invite Chief Eric Jolin, York Regional Police. Ni hao, and uh, it's always a pleasure to sneak into the city of Toronto and leave York Region. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here representing uh, the 2,400 men and women of the York Regional Police and uh, uh, Director General, thank you again for the kind invite. We have quite a relationship with the Director General. Uh, been to our home uh, for dinner and uh, I believe it's your turn to buy lunch next time we're out. But uh, we too wanted to wish you everyone uh, a Happy New Year and all the best for the Year of the Dog. And as Neil has said, uh, we think that police officers sometimes work like dogs too. We work hard, we're loyal, and we're compassionate. So happy new year to everyone. Thank you. Next we have a very special announcement about Dignitary. May we ask the following guests to please stand up and wave to everyone. Superintendent Peng Lee, Canada Border Service Agency, Mrs. Grossmer and Berga, wife of late Senator Tobias and Berga, former MP Lois Brown, former MP Mr. Liang Zhongqing, CEO of CCFC Canada Children's Fund of Canada. Mr. Rupert Powell, Deputy Director, Canadian Trade Office in Taipei. We would also like to welcome police officers from Toronto Police Service. North Regional Police. And Canada Border Service Agency. We will now be awarding letter of honorary staff appointment of OCAC.
太郎，颁发小五秩序委员。我们有请蒋德成、汤远芬、廖修范、郑顺雄、杨俊宏、黄丽美、刘东西、王珠娥、邢征威上台接受聘书。We would like to invite all of our VIP guests back onto this stage for a picture. We would also like to invite the following guests to join us on the stage: Mr. Rudy Rispatcher, Acting Dean, and Ms. Judy Hebner, Program Coordinator of Humber College; Ms. Susie Nunes, Administrator of YRDSB; Ms. Jolly Ye. Program Manager of TDSB.
嘉宾。那我们同时也感谢警方以下当地社团的支持与参与我们今晚的活动。那我们今晚出席的成团有安省中华总会馆、华侨协会总会多伦多分会、中华民国加东侨生联谊会、多伦多加东福建同乡会、多伦多龙岗青年公所、安省潮州会馆、安省越缅苗华人协会、多伦多龙光联谊会、中华民国退伍军人协会、安省协会、多伦多台湾信用合作社、多伦多台湾商会。多伦多台湾侨民社区服务中心、北美洲台湾妇女会多伦多分会、福尔摩沙长青学院、多伦多客家同乡会、多伦多台湾同乡会、多伦多台湾妇女会、多伦多台湾青总会、民主支部长加拿大党工、加台传统协会、大都会广场、多伦多台湾联合教会、多伦多台商会。多伦多台湾青商专业协会、多伦多台湾商会附属青年创业协会、世界华人工商妇女气管协会、多伦多分会、多伦多台湾工商团、加东中文学校联合会、多伦多佛光三世、佛教慈济基金会、加拿大分会、河登乐集、风华童军团、加台经贸文化交流协会、滑铁卢台湾同乡会、国际结论会。同时，我们也感谢今晚志中花篮的多伦多加东福建同乡会理、安省潮州会馆、安省岳明苗华人协会理、侨务咨询委员周玉华女士、安省联华联谊会。我们感谢大家的支持与参与。今晚真的是来宾众多，表示我们台湾的侨胞呢非常的同心协力。那我是今这个时候大家都已经有点饿得来不及。那我们先讲呢，因为我们现在两旁的食物呢是已经开放，因为两旁的食物也是一样的，所以两旁都可以拿去我们今晚的晚餐。那我们在拿完晚餐的时候，我们也希望大家回到座位上坐坐，因为我们今晚准备了非常多精彩的表演，希望大家在一边欣赏美食的时候，一边眼睛能欣赏我们准备的精彩的表演。那我们今天呢，接下来要表演的第一个团体是白舞团体。那白舞团体呢，是一群喜欢跳舞的年轻人，他们擅长的舞风有 hip hop。天价，而且经常在台湾社区的所有的活动当中，常常可以见到他们的身影。那相信大家对他们都非常的陌生。White Tiger Dance Group is a group of passionate young dancers. They specialize in K-pop and jazz, and are often seen in various Taiwanese events.